The first career path I actually examined ever uh, when I was starting to reach high school was actually veterinary science. Then I did a job shadow for that and realized that was not actually the career I wanted. So I started looking into what different things I might be able to do. My brother had applied to go to a summer camp at Indiana Tech and I got invited to come along. And it was the best time I'd ever had. Just getting to solder different things together, create a circuit from scratch, and then even programming an Arduino to create a thermostat. It was the coolest thing I'd ever done. So that's when I started to think, okay, maybe electrical engineering is actually what I want to do. So I started with the Early Start program in Professor Welch's class for engineering graphics and design. Even though it's nothing at all related to electrical engineering, I had so much fun with it. And with that class, I thought, okay, this is definitely the school for me. So one of the main things that drew me to tech, aside from there was a small class size, and then also the faculty. They were all so welcoming. Everyone on campus I've ever met has been amazingly nice and really, really helpful. It, it was all just a perfect environment to make me kind of feel like I was home. So my first year of really completing any electrical engineering, I managed to get an internship with NASA. I got to see a whole new side of engineering and what the actual design world looked like. From there, I went on to work at Raytheon, and then I even went on from that to go to Intel, just with the knowledge that I'd learned in school working on different electrical engineering projects. And the more experience you can get with internships, the better chances you'll have of getting the exact job that you want once you graduate. Even if you can't get an internship, you can always volunteer in something that's within your major or at least related to it, and that'll give you experience that will help you get an internship the next year. So getting a scholarship has allowed me to spend a lot more time on campus doing different activities. So working with student organizations, doing volunteer projects, different things like that that I wouldn't have been able to do if I was working to pay off a student loan or if I was working to pay off school directly. When I get to graduate, it is going to be an amazing time because I'll get to see the different students who I've been working with over the past few years. All of my classmates will be there. All the professors who I've had courses with and who have supported me through my entire academic career. So it really means a lot to me to be able to actually see all of these people and to be able to finally hold a big degree and say, I did this. It's going to be amazing. If I didn't have the support of everyone at Indiana Tech, I would never have made it as far as I have. So I would love to thank everyone at Indiana Tech who made it possible for me to get here. The people who gave me the scholarship, the Gill Foundation, um, all the presidential scholars, the president, because he's been so amazingly helpful, all the vice presidents, all the professors I've ever had, and all of the students I've worked with. Everyone has combined to make it a truly breathtaking experience at Indiana Tech, and I wouldn't give it up for the world. So thank you to everyone.